What's up guys? Welcome back to Fisher Hex. Appreciate you stopping in. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the Jabo PP8 powerhead and installing it on the 200 gallon frag tank. Now I currently have two of these already in that system and I did have the uh, WP40s at one point in there, but they just were too big. They're just, uh, they take up too much room, too much shadowing. So I figured I'd go ahead and just get another set of uh, PP8s and connect them to my existing Jabo to Apex controller. And of course need the cat5 cable for that then do all the programming and stuff so I'll show you guys all that here in this video so let's go ahead and get into the unboxing now uh, these are supposed to have the newer magnets which have the smaller suction cup or better yet not having a suction cup and uh, that way you can get it off the glass a little bit easier so let's go ahead and open this up toss that out of here assuming this is the power supply which I will only need one of them to power both pumps which is always good so i will throw the other one up on my website just in case yours dies yep power supply set that to the side here is the controller and again i'll throw this stuff up on my website uh, just in case yours uh, shits the bed and uh, you can purchase one without having to buy the entire pump uh, it'll be in the new uh, equipment section there so and here is the pump so let's go ahead and toss this over here or better yet let's add that to the pile all right, same pump, and this should be the different magnet. Yep. That way it definitely comes off the glass a little bit easier. Nothing like a new pump. Too bad it won't be that pretty for much longer, for very long. All right, connection. Of course, then you connect both of them to this. Connect this to your variable speed port, and then we'll go into the apex and do the programming. So let's go ahead and get everything set up. All right, guys, we got our new pumps installed on the frag system. So let's go ahead and get into the apex and do all the programming. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and set up the EB8 bars where the power is supplied to all four pumps. Now, understand that there are two power supplies for four pumps. Now, each one will go into that little JBO to apex adapter, then go out and power both of the pumps. Now, I do have one set up already here for the uh, right PP8s. All right, so let's go to get over to uh, seven three, and that is where the uh, left PP8s are set up. So we're gonna go in here and just uh, do a left PP8, and uh, we're just gonna do fallback to on, and set to on. We'll just leave it to basic programming. We're gonna update they update that, and then move it move the tile around. All right, so did that uh, save? It did. All right, let's go over here and move it around. Let's see, I guess I'll put it next to the other one. If I can find it, there we go. All right, now that we got the power of uh, all four pumps all set, now let's go to move into the profiles. Okay, so this is my lighting profile. Let's go ahead and look at the wave maker which I have done a dust on, a day wave, and a night wave. So the night wave, uh, first let's look at that, is just a constant 30% on all, all four pumps, okay? That's pretty basic. The day wave, I've decided to just keep them, all four of them pulsing at the same. I'm not gonna try to get too many waves in that frag tank because it is pretty shallow, but it is going to be on for one second, off for one second, and I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down to 60% uh, because I did just see all four of them going. And it was pretty, uh, it's pretty uh, wavy. That's the term I want to use. So I go ahead and change that. And let's go look at the um, the dust on. Is a variation of the uh, the day wave, but we're going to go ahead and move this to uh, forty percent. So it's still on for one second, off for one second, but we're going to do it at forty uh, percent intensity. And so when it then it goes to day wave, it will be at sixty percent. Okay. So that is all our wave profiles. Now the next thing you want to do is go down to the variable speed port. Now I'm using the uh, two ports that are already on the apex. Now we have uh, PP8 left and PP8 right. So I'm just going to go ahead and rename this to, uh, oh, sorry, I got to do the other one. And uh, to do, to do, where am I at? Okay, here we go. So since these are already in the right tank, I'm just going to go ahead and change that to uh, right PP8. And while I'm here, I might as well copy and paste this. 
All right, so before we go over to the new pumps, let's look at the time profile. So basically, uh, you're gonna go ahead and set up whatever time you want your dust on to be, your day wave, your uh, and then your dust on again, and your night wave. So for me, my blues uh, kick on at 9.30 in the morning. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, have our dust on wave start, okay? And that's gonna go on until the whites are completely on. Now the whites are completely on from 11 to uh, 20.30, so that will be the day wave. And of course, I want the dust on to kick back in before the blues finally go off at 10 p.m. And that will be the night wave will kick in at that point. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. So the next thing we got to do is come over here to these two variable speed ports, which are the PP8s on the left side. So we're going to go ahead and rename them to left PP8. And I'm just going to come in here and copy and paste the original uh, coding from the other pumps because we're going to keep all four of them the same. Scroll down and do left PP8 and try to copy and paste that. All right, so the next thing we got to do is just go ahead and set everything, hit the set the everything to auto so the power is on auto. All four pumps will be working at this point. And then we want to make sure all variable speed ports are running. Okay, so on auto. So let's go over to the tank and see what it looks like. Here is the connection for the Cat5 cables on the Apex to both variable speed ports as well as the plugins on the EB8 bar. Now, as you can see, the waves are pretty decent for uh, just having two power heads in there. And again, it is only 10 inches deep, so it really doesn't require the flow that the uh, 125 gallon reef did. And that's exactly why I didn't decide to do any surge modes. Now, I might do it later on if I find that uh, detritus is kind of getting stuck underneath the racks. But when I do my bi-weekly water change, I am siphoning out all that detritus. So I'm not really too worried about keeping it suspended. But either way, it, uh, it works out pretty well. And I'm kind of happy that I decided to go the route with the PP8 instead of keeping the uh, WP40s on there. Well, guys, that's about it for this video. I hope you found it to be somewhat entertaining. I do understand that programming the Apex is a pretty dry topic, but I do get a lot of questions about that stuff, so I feel obligated to share it with you regardless. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to put it in the comment section below or contact me directly. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.